Hey, fellow bows! So I haven't posted in a long time, and I didn't do it with, like, I think I'm going to have two-week breaks, and I post the two-week breaks. This, I'm terrible, man. I will tell you why, because you deserve to know. This is not, like, a made-up excuse. It's actually the reason why I don't do videos. Because for A-levels, which is, if you're from Britain, you'll know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, it's basically what I'm doing now is qualifications at school. I've taken the, I've take, chosen to take the four hardest subjects. So, by Friday, which is the end of the school week, I'm either too tired or too stressed to do a video because I've got so much work. I'll try to be better. After January, it'll be, I'll be much better because my, that's when my exams are over for this first module. If you want to know, I'm taking maths, further maths, chemistry, and physics. And they are horrible, horrible subjects to take. So... If I don't do a video from now on, you know why it's because of that. So, anyway, moving on. This week is Lady Gaga Christmas thing, because obviously that's what you do at Christmas. You look to Lady Gaga. Um, I'm going to show you how to make, or just make one, basically, a Lady Gaga mask um, for Christmas. What I'm using is paper, scissors, glue, sellotape. Pencil, coloring pencils in my pencil case, um, string, loads of ribbon, and I'm also, because Lady Gaga is completely random, to make it much more uh, Gaga-esque, I'm going to be using just completely random things like old wrapping paper, um, a Christmas bag, and some old Christmas cards. So, this is what I'm going to be using to make a mask, so I hope it turns out well. First, do the base of the card using my pencil. Just doing a basic backing. Doesn't have to be precise, I'm just doing it sketchy because whatever I'm doing is going to stick stuff over it anyway. That's the basic outline. It's not brilliant because I can't draw. Yet I got a B in art because I don't know the education is mucked up in this country. So let's do that. Let's cut out the basic shape with scissors. Oh, and Tom, yeah, I will um, definitely come and see you at um, Pride in London. If I can get there, obviously, because I live so bloody far away. But that would be great fun. I'd love to go to Pride. Um, I should be driving by July, so that should be good. I start my driving lessons in January. Because um, in England, we don't drive till we're 17. In America, I think we're 16. Um, so we're a year late in driving. So this is my basic mask outline so far. It's not very sturdy or good, but see the eye holes are perfectly synced to my eyes. Now I'm cutting out the um, glitzy card, my little template I made out of paper. So this is my mask so far. Liking it, liking it. First step to making my Lady Gaga mask. Now I'm just going to glam it up. First things first, I'm going to make some nice tassels going down. And for that I'm going to keep with the purple theme. I think I'm going to use some, um, some lilac and dark blue ribbon to keep matching it. How is it so far? Okay, now, I'm going to get some of my old Christmas wrapping paper. And then I'm just going to cut out the eye. So this is the mask so far. This I'm going to have like yellow and red ribbon from the red side. I have like two obviously diff opposing sides. So if I get some of the uh, yellow ribbon. What do you think? This is my Lady Gaga mask. So I've got the purple side with the stuff dang 
dangling down. And I've got the red side of the stuff going up. And just for the final touches, I'm just going to um, use some of my old cards. So there you have it. Finally finished my Lady Gaga mask. See, I've got the um, red paper there with the, um, some yellow and red ribbon coming off. I have that little lining bot made of an old card going through the middle. And I have an old Christmas bag going off here with some more ribbon coming down. And uh, I'm quite happy with it, considering that it's just made of random things I found around my house. Um, very Lady Gaga-esque, I think. Completely random and very odd, but I'm quite happy with it. So I will see you next week, hopefully. Bye.